supplies to Gaza and now he's backtracking and so is Lammy and so is Thornby. They're an absolute disgrace, absolute disgrace. I can't believe I'm in the same party as them. I'm they? absolutely appalled by their, by their statements. I think they should have condemned the um, bombardment of Gaza on the very first day. They should have talked about the occupation. Jewish Voice for Labour used to have a requirement that people are Labour Party members but we had to stop that because so many of the Jews I know were either expelled by the party or resigned. <laughs> I think every Labour Party member, every MP, every council should be on this demonstration and not agreeing with the Tories on this one. This is an absolute disgrace. We're watching genocide. Occupation no more. Israel is a terrorist state. Israel is a terrorist state. I'm Phyllis Pranru. I'm a Labour councillor in Hackney. We should every single one of us be on these demonstrations for peace. We've got to call for an immediate ceasefire and we have to call for the end of the occupation in Palestine so that we can have a, a lasting peace in the region. Everybody is free, really concerned about the rise of anti-Semitism and Islamophobia for all our communities. It has to stop now. We're here in solidarity with the population of Gaza that are being genocided uh, off the face of the earth at the moment. Cut off from fuel, energy, medicine, water, electricity. Hundreds of children being targeted in a population 50% of which is below the age of 18 anyway. Behind me you can see there are trade unions including the UCU, PCS Union, Unison, Unite, Aslev, RMT. I'm a taxi driver, London cab driver, I'm a member of a number of conferences like our policy conference that is quite pertinent to this. We have a policy of support in Palestine and apart from London, Eastern and a few others, we're not. It's very important that Unite backs the people of Gaza and stops the genocide in Palestine. While everybody's focused on Gaza, of course all these massive killings are going on in the West Bank. They're raising villages rampaging everywhere. We're currently going through a process of approaching our EC, our executive committee, for the leadership of UNITE to come out in total support like London Eastern is here today. I'm one of a number of members from Ealing, NEU. We passed a resolution condemning the bombing, saying that you have to look at the historical context of what's happened and to show solidarity with the Palestinian people. There has been a rise in anti-Semitic attacks and that needs to be defended against. Our union leadership, particularly in education, do need to speak up for free speech and that includes the right of people to campaign for Palestine and against um, Israeli far-right militarised aggression. So as uh, there was a student protest, our students were suspended. So I would like to see uh, a strong statement from UCU National. Our union has got a policy for um, a ceasefire, for an end to the occupation, um, and for um, and for a Palestinian state. What Hamas did against Israeli civilians was horrific, but that does in no way justify the shelling and the starving 
uh, of food and resources of a captive population in Gaza. Obviously the British government is complicit in that and we want to show as workers for the British state that we are against it, we're in solidarity with the Palestinian people and we want a just democratic peace in Israel and Palestine. sells arms to Israel and the trade union movement in Britain needs to demand that that stops. We need to be making a transition from arms manufacturing to green jobs, new jobs uh, that can insulate our homes, that can provide renewable energy. All the skills that those engineers building bombs and missiles have got can be transferable skills and we need them. The ongoing dispossession, the ongoing oppression imposed on the Palestinian people Thousands in our millions. We are all Palestinians. 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 We